Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. I've been working on making envelopes this week, just trying something different, you know, something that I've never made before. So this is kind of what I came up with and I want to share it with you. I love doing envelopes that have things at the top, just fun little things that open it up with. So this is a stamp that I got at Joanne Fabrics. I put little beads just to give it a little bit extra weight right there. But that opens up and then here's a little pocket right there. So it's just a sweet little envelope like that. And then after that, I wanted to use some cards. I just picked up a deck of cards for 30 cents or something like that at a thrift shop. So I did the same kind of thing. I put the sunflower at the top. It unwraps right there. This opens up and it's got a nice little area in here to tuck in your sweet little message. Isn't that sweet? This also has a little bead at the end of it. Then I wanted to do something just a little bit more basic, something um, something that I could just grab and go and it would go with a more variety of things. So here's a little card envelope that'll be able to work with so many different things. It can be embellished more. I just kept it plain like this so that I, I can use it just, you know, to fit whatever project I'm on. It opens like this. I kept the little um, card right there. And then it's got the pocket right there that you can put something into. So I put a button. You're able to sew it just straight on. And you can wrap your string around. So I'll show you how to make these two in particular. So with these two, it's basically the same kind of technique, except for with this one, you're going to be putting some kind of cutout right there. If you have some kind of stamp that's really cute, try that. If not, go with this one right here. You can make it just right at the get-go. You're going to want three cards. I like using something other than this. This is I like keeping this for some other kind of projects. I'll just use some, some normal cards right here. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to take our cards and we're going to want some little strips of paper. These are probably about one inch strips. They're just leftovers from some other projects that I've done. And go ahead and fold them in half and we're going to be using them to make the little creases and corners of our card. So I'm not even going to use a ruler on this. I'm just going to hold it up to the edge, to the edge, and I'm just going to rip it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the sides right here, edge to top. And then at the very end, I'm going to go back and I'll trim it for any trimming that I might need. So that's the bottom and that's the two sides. So that one's going to go down here. And then we're going to have the top one. I need to fold a little bit more for the top one. Go ahead and measure it. And rip. Okay. For the top one, I'm going to go the full length, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut it afterwards. So just grab your glue. Okay, we're going to be gluing this top part down. And you're going to go just to the top there. I like putting the bottom card together, sandwiching it, and then having this just go over the top. Just making sure that it works out well. Once I have that in place, I can go ahead and start the bottom one. Now the, this bottom card, I'm actually going to put a little cut in it. So for this bottom part, I'm going to use a one inch punch. You can use whatever size that you've got. And I'm going to go in the middle and I'm just going to give it a nice little punch once I have it. So it's maybe a half an inch down or something like that. It's just really a matter of preference. So now that I have that punched like that, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing these bottom areas down. So a little bit of glue. Oh, one thing right here. So what I want to do, I want to go ahead and add my string at this time. So I'm going to cut some off here and I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the middle, put down my string like that, and then I'm going to lay this with the glue side there over the top. Like that. 
nice I can look on the bottom and make sure it's not sticking out too much or anything like that so this is going to hold it securely so that I can wrap it around now I'm going to do the two sides once again just some glue Okay, so this is a little tip just to help you so that things can go in and out of the pocket just a little bit more smoothly. This is going to go on the top right here, right? But I've got these three flaps on the side. If you move this one in first, the two side ones in first, and then the bottom one up, it'll work better when you push things in and out of your envelope. If you have this bottom one in first, you're more apt to um, catch your things on the edge just a little bit more easily. So just a little tip right there you can try and see. So what I want to do now, I want to look at this and kind of see where it goes over the edge. This one has a little bit there. This one I can do a little trimming here. And I can do a little trimming here. And then I'm good to go. At this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start gluing down that top card, this in the inside. And once again, if it doesn't go on the inside, it's not a big deal. It's just, just an add a little thing. I want to make sure I do have glue going, going close enough to the edge right there to hold the card to any of the edges on each of the three sides, actually. So go ahead and push that and then make sure your card is in place. With the glue, it's easy for it to slip around up and down. So you're going to want to just kind of eyeball it and make sure that you actually have it where you want it. That's how that is. At this point, I'm going to take my card right here. What I did and what you'll want to probably try, I measured my card to see how big it was, how wide it was on this area right here. Mine is like two and an eighth, it looks like. So what I want to do, I want to cut this two and an eighth inch going up this way. I want to turn it into a square, basically. So we've got two, two and an eighth is about right there. So once I have that cut like this, if you have some kind of cutting board like this, this is just how I did it. You can figure out how to do it. There might be a better way. I try to find um, the middle by putting my card point on that line and that line. So they're both on the same line. And then I line it up for where, where the blade's going to go through. So I would say about there. And then I have a nice little triangle. So. At this point, we're going to take our triangle and we're going to glue it down. Now there's going to be the edges from the flap that we made that's going to stick out. That's okay. We're going to go back and we're going to trim that. So I'm going to, I'm going to align that up with the middle right there, which I know is to be the middle of the card. I'm going to make sure this has an opportunity to dry. Now it is tempting to go in right now and cut it, I must admit. But it is really best if you just, oops, sorry about that. It is best if you hold off a minute and let the glue set a little bit. If you go in there and try to trim this, what's probably going to happen is you, your card will slip a little bit. And you don't want that. So, oops. So at this point, grab a button, something that you think you might want on there. This is just a normal shirt button, nothing vintage, nothing you know too extraordinary. And I'm going to be putting that right there. So at this point, I think this is probably dry enough. I'm going to trim and trim. So I've got that. I like it. So this is where that's going to go. At this point, you're going to take a pokey tool, or to be honest, I just take my needle, and I'm going to poke two holes in my card where I'm going to be sewing. This does have four holes, but I didn't want to, 
weaken up the card too much. So I only use two holes. At this point, I'm going to use just a little tiny bit of cheesecloth, just a tiny bit, and I'm going to put some glue on there on the two side areas of the button. I don't want glue, uh, I mean, when I say button, I mean the button, the holes that I punched for the button. I don't want glue by that area because I don't want my needle to have to go through the glue. Okay, I've got my needle, my button on my needle right there, right there, right there, and I'm going to start in one of those holes and leave a tail at the top because I'm going to tie my button onto my card right away. So I'll find the bottom one and then push it through another one of the holes. So you can even kind of just move your button around if you've got a long enough tail. Lift it up and move it around. Okay. Oops. One side came in and this is life. This is reality. It comes undone. But this hole is big enough and this thread is small enough. I can do it without the needle. Woohoo! Okay. I've got that there now. Now I want to go and tie a knot to secure it. At the very end, after I've tied the knot and have it all set and ready to go, um, and I'm not using the needle anymore, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do a little glue there just to make sure it doesn't uncome and done. Now, I am a little cautious. Probably one slip through is just fine, but I'm going to find my hole and I'm going to go through once more. To be honest, I think it's not necessary if I really think about it, but it's just that, just that part of me where I want it just perfect. Okay, I'm going to find my string again. Good luck by all of that stuff. And then I'm going to make one more knot. I shouldn't have cut that part off so soon. Silly me. So don't do that. So I've got one more knot in there. I'm going to cut the other side. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue right over my knot. So that's going to hold that in place now. Put my needle away. Here's a little scrap piece. Oh, it goes in nicely. I actually like the firmness of the pocket. Okay, tuck a piece in there, go it around, and then you can wrap that around there, or you can just wrap it around like that a couple of times. Okay, so at this point, I'm done with my little envelope. All I have to do is take my string, gently wrap it around once, cut the tail, and there you go. And there you go. It's good to go and ready to be used. Now, this is the exact same technique, but I, what I did was I added a little vine there, and then I and then I used this. So if you have a punch, I'm not a punch. If you have a stamp, you know, try something like that at the top. It's the exact same technique. So I hope you enjoyed my little project, my fun little envelopes. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and come on back again for a next project. We're going to be working on puzzles as a theme for next week. So I've got things in the workings. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you later. Talk to you later. Bye.